Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I've been getting a lot of new viewers coming up, so I'm getting a lot of questions asked, and I'm trying to go about different ways of answering these questions of the best way I can or give you the best answer. So using my video library, I'm going to answer a question about P0106. That is a EGR boost malfunction on a Mazda. This one was in particular, somebody has a P0106 on a 99 Mazda MX-5. And I just want to go over what should be checked or what is the problem to, or what's causing that code to come on. This is some of the raw video that you can find if you check out my uh, video library, you'll find the video uh, finished. But this is for the emissions components and this is where they were commenting. So using that video, you could figure out what you need to look at or where you need to start looking to do a diagnosis and repair. So this is the 99 MX-5 that we have the video of or that they commented on. You're going to see coming up, I'm going to start playing it and we get over to where I cover the emissions vapor purge solenoid and in that area is where you're going to need to be focusing on or directing your focus on to check the boost valve and the EGR solenoid. That's all right on the uh, driver, sorry, passenger side fender firewall area. So. Let's get looking and I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. Right around this area right here is going to be the EGR system. So this is what the computer uses to see if your EGR valve is working or malfunctioning properly or uh, it, it might not be working properly, it might. So it could be telling you that it's seeing a malfunction and yeah, the EGR valve isn't working properly. But with this code, more likely you're going to be having a problem with the boost sensor or the circuit. What do we need to look at? Right here is the boost uh, map sensor. It's a manifold absolute pressure sensor. So it's right here on the top. You have a little wire connection. This boost sensor, uh, map sensor, sorry, connects right onto this bracket. And on the bottom side, you have an EGR solenoid. So this here is the whole component that is on your passenger firewall if you're dealing with this Mazda Miata. Right here you have the boost sensor. It even says boost sensor on it. Here on the bottom side, I'll flip it over in just a moment. This is your EGR solenoid and this is your canister, sorry, this is your emissions vapor purge solenoid that goes to the intake manifold and to the canister. So we're focusing on the EGR valve. This is going to be your issue. One, first thing, you're going to check all the hoses to and from everything. You're going to look for little cracks, any frays, has something fallen off. Check for that first. Simple stuff like that. Make sure this connection is nice and firm. So this connector right here, if it's bad, if the pigtail's bad, that could be your problem. Or it could be the sensor itself. From experience, these are parts that you probably want to make sure that you get the manufacturer OEM replacement parts if you can, uh, but get the best ones you can for sure. Let's flip it over and you can see what's on the bottom to see what hoses you need to look at. So here's the bottom side of the bracket with all the centers and switches. This is the bottom side of the boost valve. You got your electrical connection coming over. You have vacuum should be applied right there. There you have your vacuum coming in. If this filter right here gets plugged, this solenoid can malfunction causing the code. If this hose is bad, cracked, frayed, or anything like that, that could cause the code. Again, if this wire is bad, there you go. Or you could buy a whole assembly like this. If you look at this and you replace both of these sensors, or sorry, solenoid and sensor, everything is working, you think it's working, and you still have that issue, it could be a wiring issue. So it could be something more serious to where they need to check the voltage. And if you have a little bit more experience and more testing tools, you could get a reference voltage that you could check for uh, before you replace all this stuff too. But most people looking at the videos uh, or finding videos as such are probably going to try to find stuff to replace. And it's really not that expensive to replace these parts. Uh, they're old. Uh, the filter on this could get plugged. Even if this is bad, you might want to replace this anyways just so you keep everything working properly. Uh, so this is the bottom side of that whole bracketry. Here is the connection side of everything. This is you're going to be the boost sensor connection. 
these three little prongs are going to be the prongs that you're going to test for continuity if you're going to end up getting into the voltage testing. Also, make sure the pigtail going onto this, that everything looks good. It doesn't look like anything's cracked. You can see any bare wires right there. If it has a poor connection, that could give you this code as well. The most common problem for this code or fix I should say and it's not every single one so don't go replace this and be like hey it didn't work this is the most common thing is the boost sensor going bad it's a map sensor manifold absolute pressure sensor and it ends up going bad that's the most common thing but you could run into a wiring issue too so this is going over a P0106 code for the Mazda Miata hopefully this helped you out if it did Comment below with the year, make, model, vehicle, all that good stuff. Hopefully this gets your code fixed. If you have any other questions, make sure you comment below. Check out scottyshobbies.com. Check out the podcast. And hopefully I'll be coming out with a lot more uh, question answers such as this. And so I need more questions to answer. Comment, email, uh, message me, do whatever you can. And I'll do the best I can to help you guys out. Maybe one of these two videos right here might help you out on another DIY repair. I'll see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching Scotty's Hobbies.